Hello everyone, welcome to CAD tutorials for beginners and today we are going to learn the remaining commands for the constraint toolbar. So we have already uh, discussed about the first command that is constraint defined dialog box. Second we have seen is constraint and the third we have seen is in the contact constraints. So in this tutorial we will learn about uh, the fix together command and the auto constraint command. So um, in addition to this we will uh, see uh, this last command that is edit multi constraints. So let us first discuss about the fix together command. So basically uh, fix together command uh, is useful uh, for joining the multiple elements. So let us understand. We will just create one or two lines here. And uh, let's say uh, here uh, we have created these three lines. And if you want to join this or if you want to uh, fix this together then we can use the fix together command. So uh, before that we will just uh, try to drag in this. So if you uh, just manipulate uh, this uh, with the mouse uh, it is getting moved. But if you uh, just select on the fix command so the fix definition dialog box opens up and you have to select the geometry which you want to fix. So I will just select this complete one or you can just select one, two and three uh, lines and just click on OK. So once you click it, so you can see here uh, the uh, clip type options is showing here that is a constraint and if you uh, if you just try to drag it, so now you can see uh, the complete three elements are dragging out. So with the same relation between them. So in this way you can uh, use this uh, fix together command. And now uh, similarly let's say we will we'll, uh, just try for this as well. Let's, uh, let's uh, try this circle and this rectangle over here. Again we will just uh, fix this one and just click OK. So here as well uh, you can just fix it and if you try to drag it. So it is not getting moved between these two uh, elements. So in this way it is useful uh, uh, command is a fix together. So some of the commands uh, work with this uh, fix together option. So if you if you just try to change the angle it is not uh, getting work. Let's say uh, if you want to change the angle of it. So currently it is 124.014. So if you try to change it it is not getting change. So though the dimension showing is here is the same but so now we'll just again uh, let's check this one once again and here uh, the dimension is now hash hash and if you try to double click it it is showing the previous one only so in this way uh, it is not ch changing the dimension but yeah uh, we can use uh, these uh, the trim trim commands let's say we'll just check this one uh, that is a quick trim option and you can just use the quick trim option uh, with this similarly uh, you can use uh, the another option that are like the break command and uh, the trim command just select the trim option and you can just able to use this trim option for this but yeah, again uh, if you try to change this one so the three elements are getting moved so in this way uh, uh, we use uh, this fix together option. So now we will see uh, the next option that is the auto constraints. So you will use this auto constraint command. So before that uh, we will just create uh, one simple profile. So let's create our profile here. Just create simple profile and here we will create one arc and just so now we have created this profile here now instead of providing the time each dimension for the lengths uh, for the arcs individually we can we have this option available that is on auto constraints so if we opens up the auto constraints so now it is asking for the elements to be constrained so definitely we will select uh, this one by one or you can just select the complete one. Just select these options. So now you can see here the five lines are uh, selected here. So now you, again I will close this one and now we can just select this complete area and uh, all the five lines getting selected. 
now we have to provide the reference dimensions reference elements uh, from which we want to reference it so just provide this uh, absolute axis ax axis reference not this one, this one just want to remove this one so sorry i will just select once again select the reference element here this one and this one so h and v uh, we have selected the symmetry option uh, we have we can we can select but uh, uh, we don't require this uh, here we'll just select the no selection and uh, the constraint mode so constraint mode is there are two types of dimensioning here so we'll we'll uh, select the chain dimension and just click ok so once you click ok you can see here the dimensions are added as a chain dimension and all the uh, sketch here it is now uh, fully constrained that is turned into the green color so now we will we'll just check uh, the another option that is the stack type dimension we will provide so again before that uh, we will just create one simple profile let us create one profile here we will create this step like structure here and just select the last one so now we will just again uh, click on the auto constraint select the elements to constraint so all elements here reference element again will provide the same one so vertical and the horizontal and here instead of chain we will just select the stack one and then click ok so now if we check uh, the all the dimensions for the edges or for the lines are getting uh, reference from the vertical uh, edge only so now you can see 340 320 and the 290 so instead of uh, the uh, chain dimension it is providing the stack dimension as per your requirement so now uh, again we will see uh, the third option available inside here uh, that is the symmetry lines so we will just create one simple rectangle here and it will provide the symmetrical dimensions so let us again uh, select the elements to constraint and reference element will just provide uh, the horizontal and the vertical one and symmetry line will provide here this vertical and we'll keep this as it is now if we if we see here uh, it is providing the symmetry dimension as well there is 30 is a symmetrical dimension so in this way we can use uh, the auto constraint option and the fix together option so now we'll see uh, how to use the edit multi constraint option so we will create uh, one profile here so uh, let us select the profile option and here we will create one profile so just create this profile here and we'll end this here and just select the here so now we have uh, this profile is created and we will use uh, the option that is uh, the auto constraint option and again uh, we will just provide uh, the not this one we will just provide the lines because it is clearly selecting this uh, horizontal uh, or vertical as well so we will provide this one by one and this line similarly this line will provide so now we have uh, provided the elements to constraints I will provide the reference elements so for reference element we will provide the horizontal and vertical and again uh, with the symmetry I will provide uh, this only this is a vertical axis and we will keep this chain dimensions so now in this way uh, we have used uh, this auto constraint option to provide the dimension and uh, the our profile is completely constrained now so now if you if you want to just uh, if you just want to check uh, how uh, the green lines are showing as uh, iso constraints or fully constrained that you can go to the tools and you can go to the options and here uh, in the mechanical design and the sketcher here you will find the default color of the elements so you just click on the visualization or diagnostic just click on colors and you will find the over constraint elements in a pink inconsistent elements in a red and uh, the non change elements that is in the dark red you can say and the iso constraints are in the green 
so in this way uh, these colors are defined by the katia v5 on by default so uh, let us come up to the point uh, we'll just use uh, the option that is uh, edit multi constraints so now if you want to if you want to change the dimension of this one so let's say i want to change it to 5 let's say i want to change it to uh, 45 similarly uh, i want to change it to 35 so you can see here uh, the the shape is uh, automatically changing uh, changing its shape and it is very difficult to uh, uh, manage the shape within the uh, actual dimensions there are much more complex uh, profiles uh, where it would it would be uh, very difficult to uh, define the di dimensions so uh, we have this option available uh, that is the edit multi constraint so here uh, you can find uh, find uh, various uh, dimensions whichever available in this sketch and you can just uh, provide the selected one and you can just change it so now uh, let's say if you want to change uh, this phi let's say uh, the current value is phi and i want this to uh, 20 so you can just select it to 20 and you can preview it so uh, once once after the preview you can just uh, click on the ok to update it similarly uh, if you if you want to change uh, this uh, 20 let's say select the 20 mm and if you want it to 25 similarly you can just preview it and you can update it later on i want to change this uh, 45 to 55 just preview it and then click ok so thank you very much for watching please do like and subscribe our channel for more videos also you can add your queries in the comment box below so thank you. Thank you very much.